This is lesson 5-7, the binomial theorem. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to generate Pascal's triangle and use it to expand a binomial. So, first we're going to um, expand a binomial. So, if you start with a plus b squared and you expand it, that means to multiply it out, put it in standard form. So, squared means we have two of these. And if you FOIL, you get a squared plus ab plus ab plus b squared, which equals a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So now, if we want to find a plus b cubed, of course, that's going to be a plus b times a plus b times a plus b. Since we already have a plus b times a plus b, we'll take that answer, a squared plus 2ab plus b squared, and we will multiply it by a third a plus b. So when we multiply this, we get a cubed plus 2a squared b plus ab squared. And then distributing the b, we get a squared b plus 2ab squared plus b cubed. Adding that together, we get a cubed plus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared plus b cubed. So then, if we want to find a to the fourth, or a plus b to the fourth, of course we can take our answer that we got from a plus b cubed, and just multiply that by one more a plus b. So, if we do this, we get a cubed, and then a times 3a squared b is 3a cubed b, then multiplying times 3ab squared gives us 3a squared b squared, and multiplying a times b cubed gives us a b cubed. Then we will multiply the b, distribute the b through there. b times a cubed is a cubed b. b times 3a squared b is 3a squared b squared. Multiplying by 3ab squared gives us 3ab cubed. And then multiplying by b cubed gives us b to the fourth. And we can add that up. And we get that. So this is expanding a binomial. Of course, then we could do it for a fifth term also. But I think you've got the idea. That's how you expand a binomial. So now, let's take a look at Pascal's triangle. So take a minute here, hit pause while you look for a pattern. And once you figure out the pattern, then write the next two rows. So you figured out the pattern. Hopefully this is what you figured out. When you add the previous two terms, it gives you the number underneath it. So 1 plus 3 is 4. 3 plus 3 is 6. 3 plus 1 is 4. So my next row here starts with a 1. And then 1 plus 4 gives me 5. 4 plus 6 gives me 10. 6 plus 4 gives me 10 again. 4 plus 1 gives me 5 and a 1 on the edge. And then the next row would be 1, 6, 15, 20, 15, 6, and 1. So there's Pascal's triangle. So now, how can Pascal's triangle help us to expand a binomial? So these are the binomials that we already expanded. Here is Pascal's triangle. So um, hit pause and study the things and see if you can see any relationship between the expanded binomial and the numbers in Pascal's triangle. So hopefully you have figured out the pattern and what you should notice is the coefficients here in the expanded binomial match up with the row in the table. 
So the coefficients on the cubic term are 1, 3, 3, 1, which goes along with this row. And in the fourth term, we have 1, 4, 6, 4, 1, which are the terms in this row. So if I add the fifth row in here, 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1, I can use it to expand my binomial here. So I know I'm going to end up with the coefficients of 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. Okay, so now look at your variables and their exponents and notice the pattern there. The A variable starts out with an exponent equal to the degree. So our first um, variable here would be A to the fifth. And as you go across here, the A exponent decreases, so we get A to the fourth, A to the third, A to the second, A to the first, and no A's on the end. The B variable is equal to the degree on the right-hand side. So this is B to the fifth, and it decreases as you go to the left. So this would be B to the fourth, B to the third, B to the second, B to the first, and no Bs on the first one. So then we just put plus signs in here, and there's our expanded binomial. A lot easier than multiplying A plus B times itself five times. So that's expanding a binomial. Uh, the next video just has examples.